Hey, how's it going? Alex here from IdeaSpot. Today, we're going to look at this issue. Has Oracle started to charge for boot volume storage on their free tier? You may have noticed this when you try to create an instance on Oracle's free tier. You'll have a box there in the bottom right corner that says um, there'll be a charge for the boot volume around two US dollars per month. I am using Australian dollars, so 291 Australian. Is this a change to the free tier? Are they charging you for the boot volume? Let's find out. All right, so a few of you have asked me in the comments, is this a change? Have they actually started charging on the free tier? You can see here up in the top banner there, I am on a free tier account. Uh, I've been using this uh, free tier for a long time, uh, around two years now, I think. And I've never personally been charged, but I did get this message when I try to create a new volume. So I thought I would test this and wait for a while and see if I actually do get charged if I try to make a new uh, instance with a boot volume under that message and see what actually happens. So back in August, I actually started up a new instance when this message was there. And I thought, I'll just see if I actually do get a bill. Um, you can see I started this uh, boot volume back in early August. So nearly two months now since I did this, I haven't got any bill. And interestingly, uh, it does say always free on there because uh, they do say 200 gigabytes is always free. So I think as long as you stay inside the 200 gigabyte limit, you should still be always free for your boot volume. So I think this is just a display bug on the Oracle free tier. So I, hopefully they fix this up because this is obviously a really bad experience if you've just signed up and you think you're going to get a free VM and you see this uh, cost uh, estimate in the in the side there. I think that's not a great user experience to someone who's new to the platform. If you head over to the Oracle free tier site on oracle.com cloud slash free, uh, you'll find out all the details of what things are actually included in the free tier. And they do say that um, when you search for volume there, you do get 200 gigabytes of total uh, storage. So there should be no problem despite getting that message. That's definitely off-putting, but uh, you can still rest assured that if you're on the free tier plan, or if you, even if you're on the pay-as-you-go plan, if you stay within the free tier limits, you're not going to get billed for your storage. The other thing you might like to do is if you're super worried about ever getting a bill, you can actually head to the menu there and there's a section called billing and cost management. Under that, you can actually create a budget. I've done that in a previous video on Oracle Tips. I'll put that up, video up in the corner if you want to check that out. But you can create a budget, as we can see. Um, I've used zero budget on my forecast there. So definitely aren't charging me on the free tier. I also looked this up on the Reddit forum for Oracle Cloud. Someone else raised this uh, a while ago and someone performed the exact same test that I did. Um, they created an instance to see what happens. And uh, over time, they didn't get charged either. So um, I really wish they would. Uh, fix that up because that's obviously not a great experience. I wish uh, Oracle would make things a, a bit easier for people who are starting out, but um, you can be pretty well assured that uh, the free tier is still free and you can go ahead and follow my tutorials on Oracle and still get that free experience. It's obviously pretty annoying because that price, you can obviously get a actual virtual machine paid from somewhere like Rack Nerd or even Vulture for um, these kind of dollars. You can get quite cheap VMs now anyway. So it's annoying um, if it says it's free and it shows you this thing, even if it doesn't charge you. I think that's quite annoying. But anyway, uh, check out my previous tips video. I'll put that on the end screen and I'll put my favorite tutorial where I set up a um, instance using uh, Hestia and set up a WordPress website using that method as well, all for free. So um, check those ones out if you haven't already, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.